Hi friends, I'm Cube Prospector. Welcome to a brand new modded series that I'm calling The World of Color. I had a friend over on my Craftwork server say that I should give modded a try. Well, I've never done it before, but because of my achromatic craft and my monochromatic design styles, Baby Unicorn felt that it would be perfect for me to try with all these colors to just keep on that monochromatic in a modded area. So she built me a pack, so huge shout out to Baby Unicorn. And we're gonna jump right into this series. And as we get started, you're gonna notice one thing pretty quick. I've never done modded other than maybe a few mods on a server to make it run a little better or add some fun. So I don't know what this is all about. I don't know what these biomes are. I don't know why the water is pink or purple. Oh, but we've got so many colors. So we're gonna really um, play up the color aspect. So in some of my other worlds, we've gone grayscale in one and in my Craftworks SMP, we've gone like completely brown. We've mixed in a few colors here and there, but I wanna start playing with colors. So a lot of what we're gonna do here is explore what blue builds look like, what purple builds, pink builds, green builds, brown builds, all the different colors. And as you can see, I think this texture pack is going to be just about right for what we need. But it's getting dark. I'm about to die if I don't get some stuff going here. So I'm gonna hunker down here for a minute, start getting some resources. And then we'll start adventuring and see what is all included in here. And it looks like there's even some animals. Oh boy. I don't know if that one's a good one or not. So let me spend some time knocking a few of these trees down. And we'll at least get a setup here. Okay, it turns out this place has a lot of color. A lot of cool things. Oh, but it's got witches too. Oh man. As you can see, I'm almost dead. I really don't want to die. Oh, and that witch isn't going to stop. Oh, she's still there. Oh, man. I don't know what we're going to do. I thought this was going to be easier than it is. Oh, but we need some kind of food. Hopefully we don't fall in a hole, but I'm going to try and keep looking for some kind of food. Are these giving me any seeds? Nope. All right, maybe I've got a lot to learn because now I can't even run. Oh boy. Let's hope there are some animals over here that we can get food from. Oh, what's that? I think I'm going to get a lot, really distracted in this. Oh, but this might be actually be... Oh, that's fun. This might actually be more of the place I want to build. I don't know if I want to build right in the colors. A little bit of an open area. And I need a bed and i'm now seeing some sheep so oh and chicken yep we're gonna have some food here in just a minute let's get that clear some space and figure out where we're gonna live and what is this um gravestones uh-oh what is that a cardboard box oh there's stuff in it swords apple Oh, that might be exactly what we need. Not sure why a cardboard box is around some gravestones. Oh, man. I guess I just figured out what's in there. Okay, I got to get some food, get us established, and then we'll figure out some of these other things. All right, and I think as the sun's going down, I have a little bit of a concept. We move that cardboard box up. We have our oak. And what I'm thinking is as I get the different colors, and I know this isn't perfect yet, but I can start putting the different colors of things in a chest that it goes with. So we might actually be able to start a little bit of a house here using some of the colors. I'm gonna go grab a few, but as the night goes down and we still do I have enough for torches, oh, I guess we can make a few torches. I still don't have enough wool to make a decent bed yet. So I'm either going to look for that or I want to go check out. I think, yeah, I can see a boat over there. I don't want to do it at night, but we might not have many options. Oh, is the water bad? Hmm. 
All right, let's go look for one more sheep. Hopefully we can get that last wool or some iron and be able to shear it. Yeah, let's go look for a sheep. Oh, I hate doing this at nighttime. All right, and the sun is coming up and luckily we didn't die, but can't say as much as for this guy. Oh no, I didn't think he would actually come alive. That is not good because I am almost dead. Oh, how am I going to do this? Um, all right, well, that didn't go as planned, and I got so worked up, I think I stopped the recording. So you didn't see me die, but you can definitely see that I died. Oh, and luckily we have the dolphin in the area. So we're going to go back over there. I'm really hoping that skeleton's gone. Oh, because I just want to get the stuff in here. I hope we didn't lose any of our loot. Oh, oh, good. I get to see my own body. Can I jump on it? Nope. How do I... Can I do anything? Right click and I just grab it? Alright, that's a little weird. I wonder how long that stays there. I don't know. That's interesting. Oh, can I get my sword? Hmm... I guess I have it. Well, I'll have to look up. If y'all know how to change this or fix it, please let me know, because that's a little disturbing. But we got to get a little more sorted out here. Let me do that real quick, and then we'll jump in and see what's down here. All right, now that we're sorted, we can get some food, get the hearts up, and see what's down here. What is this? A pirate chest? Do I need a key? Oh, looks like I might need a key. Ah, uh huh. We have some keys over there, but I don't know if it's the same kind. So maybe there is something else in this boat. Can I dig down? Let's see if there's a way in here. And obviously I don't have aqua affinity yet, so we're gonna have to keep swimming back up. Do we? have anything else in here oh, if I can get down this hole all right I don't know if we do maybe that's just the only thing inside of there let's go down a few more times and see let's try digging right here and see if this gives us anything different I don't know if there is we'll have to check this out let me regroup, get some health back, and then I'll probably take this on. If there's something, we'll go in. If not, I think there's another shipwreck I saw out there when I was trying to kill the knight. If that's the case, we might be going over there. So let me grab some stuff, and let's head out over there for a minute. All right, this food situation is getting pretty bad. I'm hungry again. Those cookies didn't last long. But what I wanted to go check out, because it was nighttime, is there is some other wood, some yellow wood over here. There are these weird dead trees. I don't know what that is, but I love the color. I love the idea behind them. So we'll check those out in a minute. But what I'm trying to see is do we have any food or any iron? I could really go for some food or some iron to get us going. So let's hope this is kind of one of the more traditional ones oh and i think it is so let's see i don't know if i want to swim in there is there a door on here nope all right let's go back up for just a second all right really trying not to die here again don't want to die let's see okay at least some armor i don't know that that was the best stuff for us but we can get this armor on Oh, that'll help a little bit. Let's see what was in this other chest here real quick. Yeah, definitely make sure I have a way out since I don't have respiration. Great. And what's in here? Okay. Ooh. A hat bag. I gotta come out before I drown. What is a hat bag? I know this isn't the best thing. I probably shouldn't have eaten those because we want to plant them. 
but I want to make sure that we get everything in this chest, including the chest. An overgrown disc. I'm interested to see how that sounds, and it looks like we got some kind of like floaty device. So let's get in our boat here, check out our inventory. All right, some leather, better leather boots. A pelican rubber ring. When wearing, we swim faster. Where do I, do I put that here? Oh, it's a chest. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to think about that. A golden hook. Increases experience dropped by creatures. Where do I put that? On a hand? Oh, yeah. That's going to make me look like Captain Hook. Hold on. We got to check this out. Oh, yeah. Look at that hook. That is so cool. I don't know what it does, but we've got it. All right. And the other thing, I don't know what this bag does. Let's make sure I have like a loose hand. It's called a common hat grab bag. Is that a hat? It... Oh boy. Um, I don't know about that one. Maybe there'll be other ones here in the future. And then one thing I was going to see, is there only two chests in this one? Yeah, I think there is. Okay, so that's going to get us to start. I'm going to look around here at least for a bit. See if we can get that last piece of white wool. Because I really want to be able to sleep through the night. Or I wonder if this has sleeping bags. I've seen that kind of stuff before. That would be nice because then we could carry it a little easier. But let's check around here and see what I can find. Oh, look at those cute little guys. I don't know that what they do but we might have to build some kind of an enclosure for some of the cuter ones but we're gonna grab some of these flowers i think i got that one because we're gonna use all these different colors at some point oh there's another raccoon why is there not just one sheep that's all we need one white sheep all right well i don't know if we're gonna get that sheep but can we get this tree and I'm kind of curious if this tree has white, or sorry, not white, yellow um, bark. And it doesn't. What are those things? Just it's saplings. So it might just be the leaves. Oh, we're going to have way too much stuff here. What don't I need? I don't know. We need some kind of a backpack or something. But let's at least clean all this up. Take it with us. And head back home for another night in the dark. Oh, we really got to find a way to not be attacked. And die tonight. I don't want to die again. All right. And we were able to finally track down another sheep. Get a bed. I'm actually going to break it now that we've got it. Because I want to go out on an adventure. As you can see, we're starting to get a few different pieces here. And so what I really want to do is go out. And see if we can find, I don't know, some kind of iron in some of the shipwrecks. Maybe find a village or two. I'd love to start getting some trading going. But before we do that, I got this uncommon, what are we calling them? Uncommon hat grab bags. We got to see what kind of hat we get this time. A monkey king? Oh boy, we got to look at what this is. Let's see, that goes in this slot. Oh boy, that is hilarious. I think I love it. It per matches my skin actually really well. So now we're the Monkey King with a hook. That'll be interesting. Okay, and with our blue boat ready, we are ready to go back out and do some more adventuring. Now we found the shipwreck over there, and I'm kind of hoping we can find something like that or maybe a village. I'm not really sure. So I'll bring you in as I find things. And right as I say that, it looks like there is something. Is it just a nether portal? Well, that could be all right. Oh, and a well. I don't know. I feel like so much in this series, you guys are going to hear me say, look at that and look at that. Because there's so many cool things that are on here. But let's at least jump down here. See if there is a chest. Oh, there is. What kind of a chest is that? A crimson chest. 
All right. Okay. Not quite the iron we we're looking for, but I think that'll at least get us started. Oh, and I forget. I don't have aqua affinity yet. Okay. So I'm going to dig up that chest and then let's go that way and see what we can find. All right. We've just been going east and what are these? This looks so crazy. Just a bunch of boats. Oh, and what's floating out here? Ooh. I don't know what we just picked up, but it was something weird. But this looks awesome. Oh, and there's villagers on them. Are you serious? It's like a floating villager. Uh, village. Wow, this is cool. Can I jump up here? Oh, man. This might be the coolest thing I've ever seen. I didn't even know this was a possibility on this map. And do they... Oh. And they have food. Oh, glorious food. We've been needing this. Oh, perfect. Let's see what else is here. I'll gather all this up in just a second. So, some of it's fish. Looks like some doesn't. I thought that was something from Moana for a second. Let's see what else. Some paper, maps, ropes. Oh, they got all the supplies. Oh, man, this is a game changer. Even a sponge. A bunch of sponges. Some gold. Iron bars. Oh, what's in here? Oh. We guys, we may have just hit the mother load. This might be the best thing that could have happened to us early game. Oh man. Yes, yeah, definitely a game changer. So let me look around. Let me try and gather all of the good stuff onto this boat and let's see what we've got. Wow, that was a lot of boats, a lot of chests, and a lot of whales. I still think those are so cool. I wish you could capture them and bring them back, but we can't. But what I've done is kind of separated it out into a whole bunch of food, which this is such a game changer. A whole bunch of fish. I'm not sure if there's anything you actually do with fish. We got some running shoes, a whole bunch of rubber rings. I don't know if we'll use those. Redstone, tons of rope. We're gonna have to figure out what to do with rope. We got some other odds and ends kind of in here and a few more over here, including an overgrown disc. We're going to have to figure out how to play that. But one thing I realized is as I'm gathering all this, that I don't have a good way of taking it home. So I wonder if, let's see if I go down here. Is there a backpack? Can I just make it? Leather, a chest, and some string. Where are the other ones? Oh, maybe just colored? All right, well, if I can find some leather and string. I know I don't have any of that in the stuff here, but I guess we'll just leave some of this. We'll take the good stuff, leave what we need, and we'll come back. We have the coordinates up on the screen, so we know how to get here. All right, we packed up our bags with, I think, the highest priority stuff. I don't know. But most of the other stuff was fish, some food, and just barely we got this well tooth. Also don't know what it is, but I want to keep going because I want to see if we can get some string, some leather, and get maybe a better backpack because there's so much stuff in modded. And so we're just going to keep going because as I was in those boats, I noticed there's something over here and I definitely want that red wood and I see a cobweb. Let's hope there's at least enough to get some string and maybe some cows. Oh man, this has got so many things. Oh, I, I'm sorry if I get so distracted, but I love all the extra animals on here. So let's see. This place is looking a little sketchy, but I do love... We can get some string here. What's out here? Okay, just wood. Ah, uh, some of these not knowing my modded. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. We already saw one ghost pop up. Is this going to be another thing like that? Is there nothing in here? Hmm. All right, maybe not. I'll explore around here a little. But maybe it's just a building. Oh, there he is again. This is so awesome. All right, let me dig around here. We're at least, we're definitely going to get the string. So I want that backpack. 
And I gotta be able to pick it up. Oh. Is there a village out here? Or is it just the one guy that lives here? Oh, and look at what I see over in the water. All right. Oh, are they sheep? I thought they were cows. Rocky sheep? Man, I thought you guys were cows. That's not good. Uh, oh, there is a whole village over here. How did I not even notice that was a village? Oh, and I guess that boat didn't count for a village because we just got the achievement for our first village. All right, this may have been even better than the leather. I believe this is a waystone. Do we just click on it? Oh, and it gives us a name for it. But I have no clue how that works. Do, I'll have to see. There's got to be a button I click so I can just teleport here. If that's the case, we're definitely doing all of our villager breeding out here. And that makes me wonder. What was it called? A waystone? Oh, yeah, we can create one. Perfect. So we need some stuff we don't have. That's all right. At least we could craft one, have it back at our base, and be able to just teleport between the two. Perfect. Well, let's look for that wool and see if we can, or that leather and see if we can find it. All right. We're not having much luck, but I just came in here and got the advancement of Grave Digger. So I dug these two slabs up, and there's an actual coffin. I don't know how I feel about that, but we need these amethyst shards for that waystone. So we're definitely going to take it. What should we leave behind? Wow, I'm just finding all sorts of stuff. I see some bad guys there. And all of a sudden notice a tower there. And I'm not sure if this is going to be a good idea. But let's go see if that is like a different kind of a raid tower. And that's what those guys are from. Okay, I'm not seeing anything yet. A sheep. Oh, some skeletons. All right, I'm out. Is that a spawner or is that just a guy? This is pretty cool. Now, if this is just some kind of a trial spawner, then it shouldn't be too bad. I don't know. Do we dare? Oh, let's just hurry and do it. I mean, we might die. That's okay. If we die, we just lose everything. No big deal, right? <laughs> Oh, maybe there's not even anything in here. Oh, a chest. Can I open it? Nope. We need a blue key. Maybe that's it. I think that's what that means. All right. So let's keep that in mind. I don't know what that means. You might have to tell me down in the comments. Is that a key? Is that some coins? I'm not sure, but let's keep this in mind. I'm going to kind of screenshot that. So that we know to come back here later. All right, definitely not a cow, but it's definitely a black pig. We got a pink pig, a lighter pink pig. So we are hopefully getting close. Okay, and as you can see, we also got two dogs. I'm gonna need a name down in the comments, so let me know what we should name our dogs. And the best comments are going to be the names of our two puppies here. But we got two of them. Now back to the cows. Why the cows? Maybe there's got to be some other way of getting leather. I should check that out too. Oh, and we're out not too far. We we're just over there. And look at this other thing we found. Now that's a little too sketchy for me. We need to get more established before we tackle something like that. But again, screenshot moment. We're going to come back. And I've seen a few of these signs. I think they're so cool. It's like 300 blocks go that way. So you end up going that way and there's always something. But I think this just leads back to where we've already been. Because I'm kind of doing a big circle. Yeah, I think that's the tower we've already been to. And it's another one of those sheep that I keep thinking is a cow. All right, so we get all the way back here. I gave up on the cows over there, decided to just run home. We got our dogs, put all of our stuff kind of in here. And as I'm kind of prepping the area, looking for different things, look what I notice over here. Cows. All of that way. And they were right by our base the whole time. Oh, isn't that how it works? 
I didn't realize I needed them earlier. And now I need them. And they're right by our base. And we've definitely done a lot in this episode. There's so much to explore, so many things to see. But I can't end the episode without at least one build. So we're going to get something built here to at least be kind of our starter home and maybe kind of demonstrate what we're going to be doing in this series. Because I think it's going to be a little unique because the whole premise is using all the different colors, but in a monochromatic way. So I'm going to get these cows bred up, maybe get a bunch of them, get our backpack for the next episode. But let's switch now from exploration mode to building mode. All right, it's time to get into building mode. And what I've been doing to try and learn the mods, there might be a better way, is looking at like magic log and coming in here, typing magic log, seeing all the stuff we can build. This is pretty cool. I don't know if I want to go this hard on this same color blue. So we might have to see if there's other blues. But look at all of this stuff that we can build, including the roof. A little bit gray. We're going to have to look into these. Now this first build might be something for us to think about of what style we're going to go with. Because there's so much I'm learning here. But one of the things I wanted to look at is you can do all these different textures, but how do I, oh, a carpenter bench. How do, let's see now, how do I get a carpenter? A carpenter bench here. Probably on that first screen. Yep, it sure was. Okay, some stripped, some, I guess, regular planks. Wooden axe and iron. Perfect. We can get that stuff. All right. And we got that all in there. Time to get our first carpenter's table. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Oh, that looks so cool. This is so fun to be in modded. Normally we get these crazy benches. Now this one, what do we do? Oh, maybe I have to break that down. Let's see. There's going to be a lot of learning as you can see. But what we're going to do... All right, so pretty straightforward. Put the wood in there. We can get the different kinds we want. And I wonder which ones we're going to look at. I don't know. I'm not going to do that here. But the other thing that I want to check out is with this magic wood. Oops, got to spell magic, right? Is how do we get some of these other things? Oh, okay. They're just regular recipes. Is that true for a lot of this other stuff? Oh yeah, okay, so maybe some iron bars here and there. That's a stick. A chest. Okay, so really this crafting bench, it looks like it's just, or this carpenter's bench, is just going to be if we want to texture. And one thing I'm wondering is, are these connected textures? Nope, okay. So I wanted to make sure that these weren't kind of connecting, would give us anything weird. But I think we now have a table. Uh, the wood we are going to do. I went and got some more pink wood. So it's time to build out at least the first facade of a blue building. So let's go. Okay, now before I reveal the building, let me show you a picture of the inspiration of what we're going to go for in this series. So as you can see here, I love that this city has so many different colors. And that's really what I want to do here. So let's jump back over and I'll show you kind of the build style we're going for. Yeah, we're going to build kind of a downtown, just like that inspiration shop where we're going to try and have each building kind of have its own color. Now, this is going to be pretty bland. I shouldn't say bland. It's going to have really just one color until we get a lot more of the blocks here. But I think this at least can show you the detail that you can put in with just adding the whites and blacks and the blues. I found these roots, or what are they called? Glow worm silk. I'm not sure what they do, if they'll get longer, but as you can see, we'll keep finding blues and put them in here. I might even put like some flower pots if those exist with blue flowers. So there's a lot of decoration. And right now I am running out of materials and I only have a facade and not even kind of all the pieces. So I'm going to need to go put a little more work in, but at least wanted to show you what we're thinking about with this series. 
and I think it's going to be pretty cool. Imagine like a whole strip or a whole city all around here with a bunch of different color buildings. Now in each building, the idea is that maybe a villager is going to live in there, or maybe this is like a bakery and that's where we go get all of our bakery stuff. Obviously modded has a lot of different blocks and I want to use the different buildings for those blocks. So we'll probably put some kind of a street out here, put other buildings. I don't know. We'll have to figure out how far apart, but I really want this to feel like a cool world of color where there's lots of different buildings with the different colors. So let's get back to work and at least see if we can get the rest of the facade done. All right. And for our first episode, I don't know if we're going to get the whole thing in here. I'd want to make sure that we get this first episode out. It's going to take us a minute to get the best tools so we can harvest all of this, but at least we got a side going. I think that's at least going to show kind of the concept that we're going to go for in this world of color. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. Like I think there needs to be a little other specks of blue in here. So we'll have to look at for, for some other blues that we can blend in over time. But in episode one, we got a lot accomplished. Kind of want to show you some of the cool things that I learned like these planters that you can plant the two tall flowers in. These benches actually connect. We got a little table, again, another planter. And one of my favorite things is just being able to sit in here and enjoy the view. Oh, that's so fun to be able to sit down on that bench. All right, and the last thing that I kind of wanted to show here is not only have we kind of got this up, we've moved some things in here. We obviously don't have a backside on this yet, but what we've been able to do is get some farmland going, move even more of it down here. We got lava being generated, which is going to be awesome for smelting up all the stone and other things we're going to need there. We've got most of our cows and our sheep. And if you remember right, the reason we needed the cows was so we could get a backpack. So maybe it's time to get some leather. All right, and I was magically able to get that leather without you seeing what happened. But now if I remember right, we needed to get our string too. We had some other string. Where did we put it? Is it in here? Oh man, this is the problem. I'm already getting disorganized. Was the string in there? Huh. All right, maybe I'm just not seeing it. You're probably all yelling at me that you can see it. It's got to be here somewhere. Let me track down where... Oh, it's right there. I was going to say, I thought I had quite a bit of it. And for a backpack, what did we need? Backpack. We needed a chest and the leather. All right, we can do that. So let's get a chest. I guess it doesn't matter which kind. And then it was a chest in the middle, leather on the bottom and top, and string on the side. Oh, it was. That's so awesome. Now the question is, oh, how it works. Okay, so we can just put stuff in here. And it just works like that. Oh, perfect. I love that. We're going to have to dye it a color because we can't just have the regular. We'll figure that out and probably do it in a different episode. All right, and with our monkey ears on and our fancy gear and this building, I was surprised we got this much done in this first episode, but we've got a lot to accomplish. So we're going to just cruise through some of these. Between this episode and next, I definitely need to get better gear, better tools, so that we can really build out this wonderful world of color. So definitely let me know down in the comments how I could do this better, what mods I should learn, and maybe some tips and tricks. I've got a lot to learn about modded, but I'm excited for us to kick it off and get going. So until then, we'll talk to you soon.